The premium business laptop niche is mostly made out of users with enormous demand who expect a secure, stable, and feature-packed device that will never let them down. The Dell Latitude 147420 is here to answer the call, and we have to say it, it might be one of the best devices that the brand has ever made. It comes with plenty of power under the hood, thanks to the Tiger Lake CPUs from Intel, and an arsenal of features that will surprise even the most demanding consumers. Today we are presenting you with Laptop Media's top 5 picks about the Dell Latitude 147420. To give the user as many options as possible, Dell offers this device in two variations, when it comes to the build materials. The first outfit is made of aluminum and it weighs 1.31 kg while being only 18 mm tall. Choose the other option and you get a carbon fiber exterior, with an interesting pattern on the lid. Since our review unit had the latter carbon fiber outfit, we will focus more on it. The device weighed around 100 grams less and was a millimeter thicker. Also, despite being made from carbon fiber, one of the most durable materials in the world, we noticed some flex in the base and the lid, but fortunately, we didn't hear any popping noises, which would have been horrendous. Furthermore, the lid opens with a single hand up to about 80 degrees and after that, the base lifts up, indicating stiffer hinges. Doing so reveals a great keyboard and touchpad combo. The keyboard is quite comfortable to type on as it has moderate key travel and clicky, yet quiet feedback. The power button also doubles as a fingerprint reader. The touchpad is also on point, with its glass-like surface, which offered smooth gliding and accurate tracking. Continuing with the trend of multiple choices, Dell offers one for the battery as well. There is a 42 watt hours and a 63 watt hours unit, of which we had the latter. It performed pretty well in our battery life tests, lasting for 16 hours and 40 minutes of web browsing, and 13 hours and 9 minutes of video playback. In case you don't know, we do our battery tests with the Windows Better Performance setting turned on, screen brightness adjusted to 120 nits and all other programs turned off except for the one we are testing the notebook with. Please remember, it would be of great help to us if you just hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. That would motivate us to make even more and better videos for you. The laptop has its I.O. placed across the right and left side, with no ports on the back. The left side houses a Thunderbolt 4 port, a ventilation grille, followed by a 3.5mm audio jack, and an optional smart card reader. Move over to the right side, and you find a wedge-shaped security slot, an HDMI 2.0 connector, one USB Type A 3.2 Gen.1 port, a second Thunderbolt 4 connector, either of which can be used for charging the laptop, a micro SD card slot for the photographer in us, and an optional SIM card tray. Being a premium business laptop, it has a whole armory of features. It is stacked with sensors, which are mostly packed on the top bezel. In the center, there is either an HD or a full HD webcam with a privacy shutter. It is surrounded by IR and proximity sensors, the former of which are used for face recognition and the latter, for waking up the laptop when you get close to it. The combination of both puts privacy on a pedestal, which is pretty neat. Unsurprisingly, there are two choices for the display, with either a full HD or a 4K IPS display, with both of them sharing a 14-inch diagonal. Our unit had the full HD panel, and we were pretty happy with it, as it had excellent viewing angles, a pretty high maximum brightness of 435 nits, and a very good contrast ratio of 1800 to 1. Color coverage is among the best, with 90% of the sRGB gamut. Color accuracy can also be really well if you decide to use our design and gaming profile, which brings down the Delta E value down to 1.2 from 5.4 which puts it extremely close to the professional standard. Here are the results with both the factory settings, left, and with our design and gaming profile, right. Unfortunately, the upgradability suffers, due to the entirety of either 8, 16, or 32 GB of RAM being soldered onto the motherboard. The RAM is LPDDR4X and works in dual channel mode, so at least the speed is very good. The only upgradable thing here is the storage, with there being a single M.2 PCIe X4 drive. Here is our detailed teardown video, in case you're wondering how the upgrade process happens.